Nick here from Technovo and welcome back to the channel. One more got in touch as they have released a new pair of headphones, the uh, Sono Flow. We got sent a pair and I've been using them for the last couple of weeks and for the price I'm really quite impressed. Uh, let me run you through all the details. As you can see the headphones come complete with a protective hard case which is a nice touch and starts things off really well. It's fairly sturdy and has done a good job so far at keeping the headphones protected. Within the case is a small meshed pocket where you can keep the provided USB-C cable and aux lead. There is also a fabric strap so you can clip this case onto a backpack or something else if you wanted to. Moving on to the headphones and the quality continues. They've got this gunmetal grey matte finish to them with black cushions and headband. Each can have thick spongy cushions as to the top of the headband. The headband includes a metal adjustable slider to each side in increments and offers a good amount of flexibility to suit your head shape and size. There is also some flex to the headband and rotation of each cup helping with comfort and also making them fold in on themselves for easy storage. Weight wise average I'd say at about 230 grams. The right ear cup includes the controls, push buttons for power on off, ANC selection and volume track control. There is also an aux input on the right cup if you wanted a hard wired connection while the left cup includes the USB-C port used for charging. As for spec they include 40mm DLC dynamic drivers to each can. There is an impressive 70 hour battery life but more on that later. There is active noise cancellation which they're calling Quiet Max AI environmental noise cancellation for whatever reason. High res audio support for LD AC if you've got a compatible device and there are 12 EQs you can choose between via the One More app as well. The best part they have a retail price of just $99 over in the US and if you act quick they're on a introductory sale price as well of $79 making the deal even more appealing. Audio performance out of the box is pretty good but I found the best performance is when you start to tweak the headphones to suit your listening style or genre. Default EQ and low volumes it's okay but when you pick an EQ and up the volume that's when these come to life. Within the app there are 12 EQ options but they can't be modified nor can you create your own which is a shame. The weirdest thing is there is no rock EQ, that's just not right. Switching between EQs offers an instantaneous change so you can quickly pick which one you prefer on the fly. For me I switched between EQs called deep and pop as they best suited the music I was listening to. I also found that once you turn the volume up to a point where you cannot hear anything of the outside world due to volume and ANC, the headphones step up a gear. The overall sound is better, it's more vibrant, there's more punch and I found myself bopping away a lot more. ANC performance is okay, I've heard better but I've also heard a lot worse. There is a difference when switching ANC on and off and it does help isolate external sounds to a degree. At mid volume me typing on my keyboard I can't hear it but while walking the dog some louder bassier vehicles like a truck can still be heard. The app is limited, there isn't much to it at all, it's free, download it and it allows you to gain access to the EQs which is good plus it will also push out new firmware updates when needed. You can also select ANC on off via it as well if you wanted. Dig a bit deeper and there is something called Smart Burn which is white noise played to warm the drivers up. I did click it and it had an estimated time of 12 hours to complete. I did leave it overnight but did I notice a difference in quality? No. As for comfort, I found the headphones really comfortable to wear over the past two weeks. There is good headband adjustment and all the cushions are really soft. There is usually plenty of cushion on the cans, but some brands skip on the headband. One more have not done this. I'd wear them for up to three hours at a time while working in my own little world and at no point did I feel the need to have to take them off and give my head some fresh air. Battery life stated at 70 hours, that is a little bit high and that's also with ANC off. You're looking more like 40 hours 
I've found while using them, which is good regardless. That would easily see me through a week of hefty usage. There is a battery percentage indicator within the app if you wanted to check, plus voice prompt when you turn the headphones on saying low, medium or high battery. There is no audio prompts when switching between ANC, transparency and off, which takes some getting used to. The only difference is the notification sound it makes when you turn either ANC or transparency off, it's got a little bit of a different tone. All things considered, I'm quite impressed with the overall package from One More. The price point is fantastic for what is on offer. All their performance is good, ANC is good, the EQ options are okay. I would have liked to uh, be able to make my own and have that rock EQ as well but that may come in time. The battery is good, good enough for me, and they are very comfortable to wear. If you can snag a pair of these for $80 in the intro sale, even better. That is a wrap on this video. If you have stuck around until the end, then thank you very much. And if you wanna see more videos from us in the future, hit that subscribe button and all our future videos will pop up in your feed.